Now, I have to walk too far to get to my job. Your policies are oppressive and totalitarian. Wait, what? Oh, they're upset because I made them eat less. Look, dude, you gotta stop being so damn selfish. We need food for everyone, not just you, you fat f What's up, everybody? I'm IGP, and this is Avon Colony. Avon Colony is a colony management game set on an alien planet, just like Planet Base. If you enjoyed Planet Base back in the day, you are definitely going to enjoy this game. This planet that we are trying to colonize is full of all different types of biomes. There are alien threats, environmental hazards. It is a dangerous place to be, but it is the closest thing to Earth that we have. It's a pretty in-depth game, and if you guys want more information, I will put the link to the Steam page in the description below. It just came out today, so be sure to check it out. So we're going to start up a new game, and of course, if you happen to enjoy it and want to see more or as a series on the channel, be sure to hit that like button. Let me know in the comment section below, and let's go ahead and get started. So this is Vanar, I guess, sandbox mission, build the colony as you see fit. So this is our freedom mode, if you will. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the game, and I'll explain a little bit about how the game works. I mean, everything that you could need to do is all down here in the bottom. You have a display for your food, your water, the storage, air quality, population, electricity, and everything else. And these are your nanites. These are your building blocks, if you will. It's, it's a basic resource that is used to build everything. From a small mining tool all the way to a skyscraper where our colonists can live and thrive, it's all going to be built with nanites. So there are certain things, as with every colony management game in this genre, that we have to take care of at the very beginning so that we don't die a horrible and disgusting death. Things like air, water, food supply, power, all that stuff we have to manage at first to be able to expand further. And I don't know, I don't, I hope not. I hope the tutorial is not going to try to shove its thing down my throat. That was actually gross. I apologize. And of course, like everything else, we can control the time, the speed at which things play out, just so that way, if we're waiting for something to happen, we can speed it up because I'm an impatient bastard. Down here is our time. The time is a little bit weird. The amount of time that plays by is what I assume everyone would think is a normal day and night cycle, but it actually isn't. Instead, what we would call the day is the spring or summer seasons that we could relate to Earth, where crops will grow and flourish and heat will be up. And then when it becomes nighttime, it changes seasons, which I'm just going to call night, and it gets super cold. It becomes winter. Crops grow at a much slower rate and everything changes. And this is a cycle that happens pretty fast. So anyway, let's look at our base, make sure we got everything that we need. We got our solar panel generating a pretty good amounts of power at least enough to run the base we have 20 supplied by the solar panel we need 19 so if we add anything to this we're going to need more power now we have a construction drone hub now this is the hub for all the drones that build everything to come back to and we can place multiple around the map that will help us build stuff our colonists actually aren't going to be doing any of the building they will do the jobs inside but it, it's kind of like planet based but reversed you know what i mean like things aren't automated in fact the people do the work but the robots are actually setting up for the humans to work it's like a backwards it's actually kind of scary now that i'm saying this out loud there's a deeper meaning to this game and i think i've just discovered it anyway this as the initial setup is pretty good to go but there are still things that i want to make sure we have and there are a lot of options i mean there are there are things that we can just place and i don't even know what some of these do i think i just know this the beginning so let's make sure we have food that's kind of important so we need a farm which we can go over here for farming structures a first farm or a greenhouse which is only 21 nanites but it does require six workers can grow crops at 50 percent efficiency in winter whereas the farm which is outside cannot thrive in the winter unfortunately so i'm immediately just going to do the greenhouse so we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, I think I'll place it directly next to everything. And I'll go ahead and increase the speed. So one of the biggest things is making sure it's all connected. And that's what these are. I can actually show you all of them. They are tunnels, which is something if I press, well, I guess for me it's Q. But we can place tunnels to connect, which will transfer airflow, electricity, everything. We don't have to worry about like underground uh, piping and electricity and stuff that we had to do in other games. It's actually quite simple. The, the, the hard part about this game is managing 
all the resources. It's more of a resource-based management game, it feels. All right, so they got the greenhouse down, so we're gonna get some variety of food, and I think, how can I check what kind of food that I have? Okay, here we go. So we have rice and ration packs, which are fine. So we need something other than rice. Let's do some corn. Corn is good. So, like I just said, we're gonna need more power. As you can see, the units will blink red when it doesn't have enough power so we have to add some stuff and because it does cycle between winter and other seasons we don't have light during the winter so we should probably put down a wind turbine as you expected so wind turbine there i think that's a good one uh and this is a geothermal vent a bubbling pool of geothermal heated water it occasionally emits clouds of deadly hydrogen sulfide gases place a geothermal generator here to generate electricity and prevent toxic gas emissions so we're actually going to go ahead and do that can i yes geothermal generator it says it's not connected to the colony so we're just going to go ahead and attach one simple tunnel right there and that should provide plenty of electricity so this drone hub only has one i think one drone you can actually see it so i can actually click this and upgrade it so that way it can hold more drones it does cost a few nanites but it's not that bad now before we run out of nanites and can't build anything else we need to find a deposit of some kind of ore oh my god did i completely bypass this oh my look at that thing dude okay so if you guys remember from the opening part hold on i'm gonna pause it real quick if you guys remember from the opening part or the video it had the worm coming out this actually looks strangely similar to the one on Osiris New Dawn. I don't know if there's any similarities or anything. Ooh, what is this? Oh, the cargo pod. Yeah, we can grab those if we have drones close enough. Or an expedition. We could do that too. Anyway, that's pretty cool. Can we harvest the resources? Nah. Okay, I gotta find a resource deposit somewhere. Aha, so this is one. An iron deposit. So we have to expand. I think that's the closest one crap iron can be extracted with a mine or laser mine and used to manufacture nanites which are required to create and upgrade buildings yes we already it has a set amount too so we will eventually run out and have to either send out expeditions or expand our base to cover more ground so let's go ahead and set down a mining tier one i guess actually what else could i do laser mine extracts minerals much more quickly than a mine 40 percent faster extraction but destroys half the minerals in the process hmm Okay, so I don't want to do that. I just want to have a regular mine right out here within the drone's reach. So both the drones will now come and they will build faster. In fact, we can upgrade it one more time so that way we can have three drones within this vicinity. So we're going to have that and I got to connect that somehow. I think in the middle, I'm going to put another residential structure, uh, an outpost, a home for colonists, relatively inexpensive, but only supports a small number of residents. Isn't that what this is? It's a life support module. Oh, let's build one right here, and then we can connect tunnels like this, I guess, and then give them all space to breathe and move around. I'm pretty sure they can all fit, but just want to make sure. We can also look on the inside uh, through security cameras, and I'm not sure that we can set up new cameras or not, but we can look at our colonists, we can pause, and then Hi, talk to them. Service. Olga Marino. And they talk to us, dude! It tells us what they're consuming, their health, all this stuff that we can try and manage the best we can. Oh, I have a message. Like I didn't read it. Oh, population. sandbox. This is a sandbox map. You may build your colony however you see fit as long as you like, so long as your colony remains intact. We will offer you mission objectives for population growth and expedition accommodations, but you will not receive any other mission objectives. Okay, so once I reach this, they'll give me some uh, barley and four nanites. Yeah, I don't really care about that right now. So we're building up that, and I'm going to go ahead and just attach this right there perfect actually we can go ahead and do the uh the nanite processor right oh i might have to destroy something to build this because i only have five nanites how much is this one nanite good lord i'm gonna have to recycle something storage module uh solar module hmm so i made the mistake of using too many nanites now now i have to get rid of something temporarily until Oh, crap. Damn, I, I, I messed up bad right at the beginning. So I'm just going to go ahead and let this collect. And once we have a set amount of... Wait, does it tell us? What does that sound? I don't like that. Okay, how many iron do we have? We have 12 iron, which I'm assuming converts directly into nanites. So one to one. We'll just wait a little bit longer. All right, so I got plenty of resources now. I'm going to go ahead and recycle this to recover what I need. All right, so I recycled that. Now I can put down the nanite processor. 
right there. And it should convert all of our resources over to... Ooh, we're actually pretty low on water. We're going to have to get... Okay, so it's winter months, but we're good. Food is... is We have plenty of food, I feel. And we have the regular greenhouse, so it's it's still going to produce food regardless. Oh, yeah, we're going to have... We're going to have plenty of nanites to be able to build another mine here. And that will be a set system for a while. Holy crap. This environment is kind of crazy. Look how far this can go. It's a big-ass biome, dude. This biome is huge. We don't have that many resources, it seems. 2,000 iron should be enough, but we will eventually run out, wouldn't we? So there's no way we can get an endless supply of nanites. It's basically, eventually we're going to have a set colony and that's that, right? All right, there we go. Now we have a mine. I will place that here and they'll work together to make more nanites. All right, so let's take a look at water. We're running very low on water. Let's pause it. Uh, we need a water pump, which we need nine nanites pretty damn soon so i will place this and we'll put it max 12.6 there are different areas that generate more water Ooh, 14.4 oh yeah because we're pretty close to the water hole actually wait a second cancel 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 yes hold on a second can we put it in the water no we can't oh well worth a shot let's just put it back sorry guys <laughs> don't mean to make you do so much work okay so water is going up now it seems I guess it will just spread out evenly at a certain point and then even it I don't, I don't know. We'll wait a second and see. Kind of nervous now. It's time for a referendum election. All right. So, every year, basically they're going to look out how the colony is and <laughs> determine whether or not I should say it's governor. So, yeah, I'm a little worried. I'm I'm sure actually I'm doing pretty damn good. 39% jobs filled. Okay, so we don't have enough people? 25. So we need more people. That might actually be my first thing. Let's actually do that. Immigration center is 25 nanites, requires eight power, four workers, allows new colonists to immigrate from the colony ship. So I can actually place this down and then prioritize it so that way they focus their jobs on bringing in more people. And I wouldn't mind bringing them in right next to the habitat. That probably would be the best thing. Let's recycle this. Your citizens seem happy with your performance. Hell yeah, they do. I'm the best damn governor they have. I've ever had, really. And I will be the only one. Nobody's replacing me. Okay, we got an immigration center. This place is right down here. Perfect. I always tend to run at double speed just because eh, I'm impatient. All right, water seems a little fine. We might need to upgrade this. We cannot afford to upgrade. That's right, we're out of nanites. Can we upgrade this? 12 nanites to do that. Eh, it's taking forever. I'm going to sort this by morale. Jason, why are you so, why are you so upset? Oh, thanks for lying to me, is what you're saying. Dropships loading three new colonists per trip. Okay, I guess it, they will prioritize that. I don't know how it works. I think it's based on how close it is to wherever they're coming from. All right, let's start planning ahead. Uh, we have enough power for now. We probably should look to get some batteries. Batteries will help store the power. That way, during the winter, if there's a blackout or something... Ooh, there's another resource. This colony doesn't have enough tunnels to help me get around. Enough corn. We need more food variety. Oh, you're right. You're right. We need something. We need broccoli, dude. We need to get that fiber. I need a place to go and have some fun. Okay, so that's how we increase morale. We got to make them have fun. Residential structures. You can have outpost, habitat, blah, blah, blah. Resource management structures. No, that's just storage and mills. What does a mill do? Use advanced nanotechnology to manufacture solid foods from raw ingredients, including inedible alien crops at tier two it can also th synthesize consumer goods for distribution at a retail center okay all right so we got new colonists right yeah 19 colonists dude fill those jobs up services related structures here we go a park Ooh, a bar and grill a multi-purpose food and entertainment building it offers two modes which can either increase food quality or entertainment morale in the surrounding area slightly increases air quality and entertainment morale let's do entertainment morale uh, and in fact, I kind of want to keep this a little bit separate. I want to separate them as much as I possibly can. So that way we know which section. So over here will be all the fun stuff. We'll put those over here. I really, yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade the iron mine. So we can get more resources out of that. All right, the air quality is pretty bad in certain areas. That's fine. We can, we can manage that. We could do an intake van surround in the surrounding areas. That's fine too. Okay, we have a ton of deposits over here. So, ooh. Lightning is striking. Okay, that's not good. So I'm going to upgrade the nanite processor. Hopefully produce them much faster. Oh, we actually don't have many resources coming out of this. So I might have to upgrade this again. 
All right, now we have 22 colonists. Let's see, jo uh, 23 jobs unfilled. So I'm gonna have to spread this out a little bit more evenly. So over here is all gonna be the fun stuff. Down here, I'm thinking food. Let's do food down here. Okay, so it's a crisis. It says that we're running out of food. Uh, we're gonna have to set up rationing, which people are going to get upset, but they're gonna have to eat a lot less for now until we get another greenhouse made to produce this food. So at this point, I'm just waiting for time to go by. We're not producing enough food during the winter, and that scares me a little bit. Let's do melons. Let's produce some melons. Why not? Yay! 76% of the vote! I am the best governor you ever done seen. I have to walk too far to get to my job. Your policies are oppressive and totalitarian. Wait, what? I missed the shopping so Oh, they're upset because I made them eat less. Look, dude. You gotta stop being so damn selfish. We need food for everyone, not just you, you fat fuck. All right, so I paused. I know what's going on here. Uh, we have an issue with uh, a habitat. So I need to make sure there's habitats pretty much everywhere. This is gonna be hard to organize. I'm gonna have to like remove some stuff. Uh, I have to walk too far. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I'm sure you have to walk super far. Let me put a tunnel right there, actually. That's a good idea. Just connect everything. Might as well. Oh, we can pick up the cargo pod. <gasps> I did not realize that. Now we got nanites, dude. Now we can build some stuff. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Farming structures. Greenhouse tier two. 30 nanites. All right. So if we have one, how much is it to upgrade? Only costs nine. Oh, wait. So we don't have to put... Oh, so it's the same price. Okay. So I'm just going to put them... Oh, it's blocked. <gasps> wait. We can't tear down trees? Is that not something we can do? Hold on a second. We can't tear down trees. Nope. I guess we can't. Well, that just absolutely sucks. So that'll be power over here. Well, I guess we're going to have to put the greenhouses over here. This is going to be the most unorganized thing ever. Put it right here. Connect that. There. Everyone has space to walk around and stop bitching about stuff. All right. Let's get to it. Oh, it tells us how likely these are to grow at this area. 50% productivity, 30%, 60%. Okay. So the best option is melons at this location. So we'll put melons, and over here, 60% rice, 60% corn, 40% broccoli. Okay, so let's do corn. 60%, that sucks, dude. All right, now we're getting tons of food. I'm still going to make another one, and another one. Until we get the chemical plant, we're not going to have to worry about strange alien crops. I think we'll be fine without them. All right, so let's upgrade the iron mine one more time. Another 13% mining rate. Currently, it is set at... 0.74 per hour. All right, 0.84 per hour. Okay, not too bad. And this is producing what? Oh, it's literally super fast. Just waiting for that to finish, basically. All right, so what are we... We're barely up on water, so let's get some water up here. Or I guess I could just upgrade this. Yeah, let's just upgrade this. Plus 55% rate. Good freaking God. Seven per hour is pretty average. Okay, so once this is done, I'm assuming it'll be what? Uh, 10? 11, 12? What? Yeah, 11.2 per... Yeah, that's pretty good, dude. That's pretty ballin'. All right, so atmospheric condenser extracts modest quantities of water from the atmosphere. Less effective than a water pump, but can generate water anywhere. You can also split water to generate oxygen, improving air quality. <gasps> Let's do that, dude. Let's actually remove this. And then I will put down an atmospheric condenser there. All right, so we got greenhouse. The morale is up, isn't it? Uh, slightly. Jobs are still unfilled. We have 52 potential colonists. We're going to have to have another habitat. Or I could upgrade this. Yes, I can. Plus 18 inhabitants if we need it. Let's upgrade the atmospheric condenser so we can unlock that blueprint. That's what it does, too. Um, the, some of these are going to be locked, but we have to place the beginning one down and then upgrade to get more. I think I'm going to put down some more drones over here. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Okay, so support drones that automatically eliminate creep infections from structures within a fixed radius. Uh, and then, oh, police. Supports drones that patrol the surrounding area to monitor colonists and structure to reduce crime. All right, let's have those sitting over here. Let's have those sitting over here. We'll connect that, connect that. And then, do we have enough? We got 25. I could do a few more, I think, or one more. All right, construction drone. Connect them all. I want to kind of separate them so I know they're different than the rest because this is... A little bit much. All right, we might have to... Oh, wait, no! I'm an idiot! No! Wait, 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 wait. No, don't, no. Where is it? No. There we go. We don't need to ration anymore. I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, I'm a dumbass. 
they're probably all upset over that. Ah, oh, damn it. I need to pay attention to my notifications here. We're, we're low on storage. Okay, hold on a second. Resource management, mini storage depot. Uh, that's blocked. We'll put it right here. Okay, so how much storage do we have now? Okay, we have 2,500. Um, I might build one more, but I need 10 nanites. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. There we go. Cool. That's another 1,000. All right, so I think I could pick this up. Can I? Yes. Ooh, 200 amaranthium? 100 flower, 100 nanites, dude. Fuck yeah. Give me all those resources, dude. All right, so we can build more. Let's think about what we want to do next. Our morale is still down, or is it? No, morale's 82%. We just really need more people coming in here. Can I upgrade this one more time? The habitat? Yes, I can. So we'll upgrade that and then just wait for stuff to pick up, I guess. I guess some more water, maybe. It's not adequate water. Ooh, 22? 0.3 water? Hell yeah, bring it over here, dude. We might need some more food, too. Let's get another greenhouse in here. 11 melons per hour. Is that good? I guess. All right, just connect those. I don't care. This is our first colony, so I'm not too concerned with having it look the best once I get better at the game and future uh, areas. I'll have a better setup. So let's take a look at our inventory. We got barley, broccoli, corn, melons, and quinoa. We have uh, a little bit. Plenty of food, though. It's all going up. In fact, we can upgrade some of these to produce more. We need to keep the food supply in check. All right, so what else? Morale-wise, we can do services-related stuff. Our retail center. Actually, what other... The spaceport buildings. What do we got? A trade hub. We definitely need a trade hub. There we go. That looks good. All right, so the trade hub means we can trade some of our resources for other things. And, ooh, we got a reward. Well I'm pleased with the progress of your colony. Ooh. You may select one of the Give me six immigrants, please. I will take the immigrants. Yes, That's right. Expedition time. Hell yeah! All right, so expedition time. Now we can build the expedition center. Uh, well, we ooh, we need a lot of freaking nanites for that. Holy shit. All right, well, best get to it. Where's the next deposit of freaking ore, man? Oh, this is copper right here. Wow, I'm an idiot. Okay, so let's place down a mining thing. Uh, maybe a laser mine? We have 2,000 in there. No powered construction drones in range. Okay, so I'm gonna have to have that. I'll just place that right here. Sure, whatever you want. <laughs> in fact, I can even connect, uh, some stuff here. Why not? Y'all can walk through all this. All right, what's our morale look? It's 70, 76 percent. Eh. Eh. 19 jobs unfilled. We're going to need a new habitat. That's pretty much the center point, though. Ooh, the skyscraper! <gasps> oh my god, I can put it here. I can put it right here. Holy shit. I thought I couldn't build in the trees. What the hell? That seems a little weird. But whatever. So we're out of, uh, nanites right now. That's building super fast. Holy crap. Yes, 72 plus 66. We got plenty of housing. That's fine. So jobs will be filled soon. As soon as we get, ooh, winter warning. Winter approaches and our scanners indicate that a power failure is likely in winter unless you take steps to increase your power supply. Farms will not grow. Greenhouses will grow at a half rate. All solar structures generate 50% power. Okay, so we're going to need a battery. Thank you for reminding me. We got to wait for that, though. My storage is full? Bullshit it is. Crap. I need another storage deposit. That's fine. These are blocked? That is so stupid. I'm going to wait till I can build a better one. Like this one. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Uh, oh, it's all blocked, blocked. There we go. Storage can stay right there. I don't care. Just increase my storage capacity, please. All right, so some things are out of power right now, which is not very good. But I guess we're just going to have to survive out the winter. Uh, ugh. Okay, we can upgrade the solar panel. So let's do that real quick. Can upgrade it again? Yes. Upgrade it again. Don't even care, dude. Yeah, the air quality is pretty bad right now, so we're going to have to put in some air stuff once we have enough. Ooh, an intake van. Eh, yeah, just put it right here. I don't even care anymore, dude. <laughs> this is so unorganized, but as long as we survive, don't care. Oh, the air quality is poor in part of my colony. Okay. So let's put a Tier 2 fan somewhere over here. And I think I can actually check... Air quality overlay. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so air quality is good over there, and it should spread, shouldn't it? All right, let's open up the trade. Can we get nanites? Nope. We can get a whole bunch of other stuff, though. That's fine right now. 
As you recall, the Constitution guarantees your citizens uh, the right to vote on their colony governor. Yeah, I know. It looks like that time is upon us again. Yes, thank you very much. All right, power should be going up, right? Yeah, uh, no. Okay, we actually don't have enough power. Weird. Let's upgrade the geothermal generator. I guess. Is that good now? 304. Hell yeah. Seems good enough. I can't seem to upgrade the wind turbines though, so that's not... I'm not too happy with that. But here we go. Here's some ba Here's a battery. Let's put the battery right there. Collect some of that power. How much does it hold? Good news. Ten units. Your citizens seem happy with your performance, and I think you have a good chance to win this referendum. All right, so they're saying they can barely breathe. My bad. There's no place to buy what we need. There's too much crime. Yeah, the, the police was down. Uh, let's increase the police to reduce that crime. And then let's take a look at what we can do as far as buying stuff. Retail center. Increases morale by offering basic retail goods to your colonists. Can also distribute any consumer goods, hollow units, or service robots in your inventory, further enhancing its effectiveness. Okay. Let's do that. We'll put it right here. That's blocked. Wait, this is all blocked. No, stop. Stop. Cancel it. I'm going to pause this right now while I'm figuring this out. A hospital. That would be good. Skyscraper is right there, so I should be able to put... Oh, that's good. Let's just put it right here. Okay, now we should focus on doing... Uh, a laser mine would be nice. There we go. Laser mine. Put it right there. And now we're going to have to figure out how to connect that eventually. you're on track to win this referendum, but here's the feedback I've compiled from your citizens. There's too many people where you live. What the hell? What the hell does that even mean? Okay, so I got to connect something to this. I don't know what else. I guess I could put a habitat. That's what people are talking about. They don't have any room where they live, which is kind of weird considering that, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, there's a hunt. There's a whole bunch of... Okay, I'm just going to put down a skyscraper, I guess. So I don't even have enough freaking nanites to do that. Oh, boy. Let's go to eight speed, dude. There we go. Now we're at 84%, dude. You need a majority to continue. Okay, so we barely breathe. Yeah, I'm going to get on that, okay? There are too many people where I live. I'm going to get on that, too. This colony doesn't have enough tunnels to keep me... What? Yes, it does. What the hell are you talking about? Look how much shit I have. And now it's winter. Great. Now we're going to run out of power. All right, we got to make sure we got enough power going. Tier 3 solar panel. I'll put that over here. Keep building it up. Okay, I think we're able to keep everything going. Good. I'm just waiting till the winter is over. Is what I'm going to do. Hey, we got 100 colonists. Yay. We got plenty of food. I'm going to get nanites. Thank you. All right, cool. That sets us up to build some stuff. Uh, skyscraper. Right. Just out here. And then we'll connect this way. And then connect that way. Perfect. Another reward. I'm pleased with the progress of your colonies. Give me more nanites, dude. That's all I need. I don't even care anymore. All right, so we have this going, and now it has power. Okay, so we are way low on power, though. We got to build something. Uh, is there a geothermal vent somewhere? Oh, there's one right here. All right, let's just build this geothermal... Wait, no. Oh, I don't have any drones. Crap. Construction drones. Let's just do it right here. I know it's going to be bad on their morale, <laughs> but uh, we should be okay. Congratulations on your referendum victory, boss. Oh, thank you. 83%. You can barely breathe. Yeah, I'm going to get to it. The colony doesn't make doesn't take law and order seriously. I miss the shopping centers on the colony ship. Okay, whatever. You are really complaining a lot here. Geothermal generator. Build up this stuff. There we go. Perfect. Kind of working, I guess. Since this is all automated anyway. Now we got plenty of power. Okay, so we're going to have to do a nanite processor as well. I'm going to get rid of this. And then place down the tier two nanites right there. Perfect. New mission. Okay, whatever. I don't care. Let's upgrade the habitat. Okay, how many people do we got? 117 colonists. 39 jobs unfilled. All right, we're going to need more storage. So let me upgrade that one. And where was the other storage? There's only one. Okay, so I'm going to have to build another storage thing. There we go. And might as well upgrade it again. Because we have plenty of resources to do that. Perfect. Okay, so now we have... 11,000 unit storage. Holy crap. Slow it down a bit. So we can do expedition things now, right? Mega structures. Oh! Earth History Center. A huge interactive museum that educates colonists but the great civilizations about the great civilizations of ancient Earth. This is extremely expensive to build and maintain and requires a very long time to build. Okay. Hmm. 21 workers for that. <laughs> All right, so we are at a pretty good spot. I think I'm going to go ahead and pause it 
here though. I've been playing for a bit. I think next episode I'm going to focus on getting the expedition center out. So that way I can go gather resources and stuff elsewhere. I don't actually know how that works. If it works within the map or if it works within like outside of the map, you come and get some more stuff and bring it back. I don't know. We'll find out next episode. Also got to make sure my air is taken care of. Lots of stuff to do. I'm going to go ahead and save the game here. IGP. So I'm cutting here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Let me know in the comment section below. And of course, if you want to check it out for yourself, link is in the description below. Thanks again for watching, guys. I love you all, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.